Um, anyway, Ubisoft conference. Um, there's some kind of Valhalla GC. I don't give a fuck about Valhalla. Anyone? Well, I like it. I'm playing oh, it right my. now. I actually, I also right right forgot now. Assassin's Creed Valhalla existed. Look, I'm okay. not joking. It's, you know what? I really like it so far, actually. So, so Sarah, you know what? I respect to whatever you said about Watch Dogs Legion. So, because now I'm gonna have to talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla and why it was arguably like one of the like ten greatest games of 2020. Oh, fuck off! Also, we we one ton- quickly, <laughs> okay. quickly, they pretty much confirmed that there's not gonna be a new Assassin's Creed next Good. year. Good. Very Good. quietly, they so- they they said for the first time we will be supporting this game and supporting this the first Assassin's Creed game into its second year. So, if I was like, sorry to guys. Be- to be hey, fair, they did you. the same thing with Odyssey. Yeah, but this, like, okay, so, man, that that first, because I, 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 I played Valhalla, like, before it came out for review, and then now I played I played through the, the first DLC episode, Wrath of the Druids. It's such a good Western RPG. It condenses everything. It, it streamlines it? it in a way where, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you don't have to worry about numbers. You don't have to worry about all mm-hmm. this fucking bullshit with, like, like you would when playing The Witcher or playing a Souls game. It's just... No, here, you like the skill, unlock it, go on. You don't like it, reset your entire skill tree and uh, change it up. Um, it's such a great game. It really is. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time now after putting like 80-something hours into it um, between both the PS4 and PS5 versions. And Jose's wrong. <laughs> I, I, res- I, re- I respect you as a friend, CJ. I, I will leave it at that. I, I have been on record. I'm we, we've me, me and Mesa specifically... Lot, actually. Mesa, you trade. What about that whole like thirty minute diatribe we did about like, man, fuck these modern Assassin's Creed games. It's all about the classic ones, oh, brother. Just I chopping dudes it. down left and right. This is okay. This so far is significantly head and shoulders above Origin and Odyssey. The thing with so far, you're in Odyssey. The thing with Origins Odyssey is like there are like loot shooters mm-hmm. converted. Anyway, into we're getting distracted. We got sorry. We got their <laughs> RPG ness gets in front of their funness. Exactly. And this one so far doesn't. The, the, At least the best you just play as white people. The, the best thing I'll say about Odyssey, uh, not Odyssey, um, Valhalla. Yeah, it doesn't have the honest white it, people. It doesn't you know? have. It doesn't have the loot vomit <laughs> of Odyssey. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Valhalla. I really like. Like I haven't yet because it came out or I got it for Christmas. All right, we, we got to be well, guys. Sorry, but I see you play it. But <laughs> God, I'm glad that someone. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm glad oh, people like it, even if I don't care. Too much. All right, uh, Gamecritics.com. Go, sorry. God, God fucking damn. <laughs> Far Cry. Oh, yeah, you can do this. Um, Far Cry Six had some gameplay. It looks like more Far Cry. Ooh. I love the actor. He's cool. Like Maybe give him some roles where he's not angry. Give him some roles where he's not angry. I was about to say also give give him more roles where he's not playing Latino men he's when he's a, a black Latino Italian. He's not angry. Wait, he's black Spanish or black Italian? He's Italian, right? He's Italian. He's yeah. not, he's not he's not Latino. It's just that I, people saw you know all these these where he played Latino guys and he's like that's that's our guy. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's fair of you to make fun of the white producer looking at him and not being able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, I, it, he, it, I mean he said he doesn't see color. I mean my man here <laughs> out here making his money, getting his stuff done. All right, I am supporting my brother. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, let, let's not get into it, but uh, Lance Riddick is Wesker. Fuck yeah. 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 Woo! Oh, I also want to just say not to get into it. Uh, uh, Ter- Teresa, the fucking pet, whatever. I love that little. It's like, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Is that racist? That it's Okay. Okay. I, I, I okay. will say this. I did it on Twitter. I I have there's no shadow of a doubt beyond my mind that it's that's a white dude that came up with it because like ha, 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 it's funny but the same fucking token I literally have like three different fucking family members in my extended family that have wiener dogs literally named chorizo so, so yeah like, on, on point <laughs> on point racism right there it's like uh, the cyber <laughs> it's like the cyberpunk thing of like oh ran- these characters will say random Spanish words chorizo is exactly in that line I mean it's adorable but come on Blaine but did you see the chicken that has a studded I body? did that was pretty <laughs> rad which and the and the freaking um and you can the, it, the, 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 the alligator that has like a T.O. Polo, a polo on <laughs> like oh my god we don't have politics we swear by the way look at our cute dog yeah I remember hearing this one they're not they're not saying that that there's this one is political they, but, they, uh, they, I, I'm Ubisoft proper that. as a pop as a publisher came out and said like this isn't politics and then I believe the creative director came out and said, like yeah no th- this has politics. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Two cool. different 
but are they good or bad? People. I guess that's what we're gonna find that's out. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna find. I hate that like, this oh, game actually looks way better to me than every other Far Cry game I've touched in like the last ten years. I think, oh, I oh. think it's actually because this one. And I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the trailers that they've been putting out have been reminding me of Quentin Tarantino film trailers. Oh no! Where it knows. Did someone say? Did someone say the N word? <laughs> Far Cry just works better in hotter it, environments. I also think Far Cry works works better when it knows what it is, and I feel mm-hmm. like Far Cry Five took itself a little bit too seriously, even though I really enjoyed that that game. Uh, and I, I'm a true crime person, so I just like cults. Not I, that's, I'm taking totally out of context. I do not like cults. I like. D- I'm d- clipping no. that. <laughs> but, um, you should watch that. the movie Red it's State by Kevin reason, Smith. It's a really good take on that topic. It's it's also the reason why Far Cry Three Blood Dragon is my favorite only good Far one. Cry game because it knows what it is. Oh, it just uh, doesn't take itself too seriously. So, qu- quick side note: I was reminded of while we we're talking about the, the totally on point racism. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna um, be the episode. Title. I've, I've, no, I've been playing. I've been playing Mass Effect Three. It's very annoying when you have like the the Hispanic character, and he literally says like the same two f- Spanish words over and over, like loco and pendejo. Don't very annoying. Fuck God. off with that don't shit. Don't tell me that, Jose. Now I don't want to play Mass Effect Three. <laughs> just just play Mass Effect Two. It's the best one Whoa, anyway. Bro, what the hell? Isn't that also, Isn't it the same character whose entire purpose is the characters? We made a gay character, and he's very Di- queers. Oh, Look, we did different it. character. <sighs> Technic. Different That's a different yeah. character? Yeah. Yes. Oh, then who am I thinking of? No, fuck that game. You're thinking though. Cortez. I'm talking about I'm thinking Vega. of a party member. I'm thinking of Vega. He has a boyfriend that died in, like, an attack, I think. No, that, that's, that's Cortez. That's Cortez. Wait, oh, shit. Is that Great the one Cortez, played by uh, Freddie Prince, uh, Freddy Prince Jr.? Freddie Freddy Prince Jr. is Vega. I don't know who Who's the stereotype? Because I don't know anything about Spike. Who's the stereotype? Who's the stereotypical one, Jose? Uh, Vega. He's the one that says Pendejo and Loco. And then, like, Shepard. Shepard, he does, like, the most... He he she uh, does like the most uh cool. f- fuck fucking uh white dude response. Of, I'm, I'm playing male shepherd. He has like he's like loco. Huh, I like that. I'm like, oh shut the, I'm like shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That was that, that was accidentally the most realistic white th- person. That is the most realistic thing a white person has ever written. Is another white person being like, oh yeah, I love the way you speak. <laughs> 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 fucking base each Latino pills. Mel Chef confirmed for spicy white. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I had to go for it. Sorry. He said Puede, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, man. Oh. I fucking hate video games, man. Oh. I know, right? Uh, for for context's sake, I'm not saying a racist thing. There was a white woman on Twitter who genuinely tried to push the idea of spicy white that you're basically so cool you're not so super white, and I hate it. And I, I made you want to die. Awesome. I love that white apologists. I love it. Fuck. <laughs> that's I'm just now, can, you, can you imagine how bad the equivalent would have been if you had done the same thing with Jacob and Mass Effect 2? Oh that's no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jacob just starts saying random shit like damn and shit and oh man that was whack. That's a callback to a movie Dude, no nobody knows. If you if you max out his loyalty, do you get a pass? No, oh, Jose. That's bad. That's bad. Jose. Jose. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm sorry. That that's horrible. I, if, I if I don't con- if I don't contone Wait, this, I do not contone this. If you max out Vegas, like if you max out Vegas, like loyalty, do you get invited to the uh, Cadenasa? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this fucking no. this is Kinsier. <laughs> I was about to say, did he tell you about this? Jesus Kinsier? <laughs> You're my no. We're no longer allies. We're essays now. <laughs> essays. What does writing a paper have to do with that? We're, we're, we're not writing a paper, are we, big? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh fucking Christ! <laughs> This is the best episode we've ever had. Thank you, CJ. No, see, okay, I got, I got one last one. <laughs>
I'm, I'm legit crying. I need so, a second. So the cutscene you get, though, for maxing out Vega's companion, whatever, meter loyalty, <laughs> is he invites you to dinner in his quarters, and, and, and he goes, and don't worry, I made it not too spicy for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, Blaine, Blaine, mm. come on. You can do better. Mm. Oh, yeah. Chief uh, Shepard, I made it not too picante for you. Okay, okay, you can say that. I can't. Oh, you can't. I'm white like fasting and Jewish. I can't you, say that you like can't that. Say picante. You can't say picante. You know, well, I can no say picante, that's... but I can't say it like that. <laughs> I was worried if, you, if you'd be able to go on this mission. I guess you Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Okay, we, we're let's all, go to we're all our Ed Mato's here. Am I right? <laughs> My favorite we're director not- from the classics is Robert Rodriguez. I can say that. <laughs> we're not stopping this mission where it goes. <laughs> okay, we, we got to move on. Jesus Christ. What the fuck happened here? We need to move on to the next game, please. <laughs> I can already feel people canceling us on Twitter. <laughs> no, I'll give you guys a pass. You guys I'm, can have I'm, the Amigo. The amigo oh, pass. thank you so I'm, much. I- I'm giving us the pass. There we go. The, 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 the amigo pass. <laughs> Wait, if I have two amigo passes as a white person, does that mean I get to do something racist later? Okay, I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to stop. We'll discuss it later. The, the council will. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus no, no, because then I have to get the five Jew bankers together. And okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I actually do need to stop because I am dangerous is, because to say something actually is, anti-Semitic. Is is George Lopez oh, fun the, the Jesse it. Jackson of Mexican people? Oh my God, he went and said it. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to talk. I'm talking next? about me. What's What's the next game? Please save us <laughs> from ourselves. Jesus hmm. Christ! Oh, my, I swear, my name's Jose. Oh. Look, 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 look at the thing. We're good. Uh, <laughs> what's the next uh, fuck, game? Please. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, Avatar. There's an Avatar game. It's not the Airbender. I don't need to fucking talk about that. I, it's not Airbender. I don't Avatar. give a fuck about it. Yeah, James oh, Cameron's Avatar, baby. Hell yeah, 2022. It's gonna save yeah, baby Avatar. Go to the Pandora. 2024. Never stop going, baby. It's I'm not colonialism sure. because it's in 2005. It's not colonialism because they're blue. Well, no, it's okay. So. It's made by the division people, right? Ubisoft Massive, like that's the that's the team that's making it. So yeah, is it gonna play it like? Really? The, the, yeah. So my thing is, is it gonna be like a third person shooter? Is it gonna be like a third person action game like Assassin's Creed? That's I what think, I. I think they've already said it's it's gonna be an action adventure title. Okay. Um, but I don't think they've gone into anything else other than it's using like the newer version of this no drop engine. Like they just re- revealed that, like it's using the like next gen version of it. But other than that, we just know that it's an action and adventure game, and it's going to be just them against the military again. I, mean, I'm so I don't know if, I, I, and I'm being completely serious here. I'm, cu- I don't know if they're going to do the whole like you're just Jake Sully person where Damn, you can go between, back. yeah, yes. we can just go between like <laughs> Navi body and human body. I don't know. But if it's the Division people, I'm not a fan of the Division as a game, but the gameplay is incredibly solid, and I would like to see them do an Assassin's Creed style like action. Uh, I want a sex mini game where you put the hair. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah, <laughs> you plug you plug them in like USB cables. Yeah, <laughs> like the God of War, the God of War button prompts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When it go, when it cuts back to them, they're both to, their hair is just totally damp, oh my God. all the way down. Okay. You got to do that every time you have to ride like an, like a mount. <laughs> no, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, so wait. When, when they do it, if they're doing that, are, and they're they're using the same thing to like go on their mounts, no, does that mean they're sleeping no, with the mounts too? <laughs> don't. No, let's. I don't want to go there. Robot Chicken went there years ago, and it was gross. Let's oh, not yeah, go. Oh yeah, the, the Patrick, the Patrick Stumpa. <laughs> oh, I haven't <laughs> seen that. Okay, I, I, I will say I genuinely love the fact that they got the lead singer of Fall Out Boy yes. to sing a song about Navi fucking. Jesus Christ! I'm, I'm like, excited for this. A part of me is honestly kind of interested because when did this start development? Because they had to have been doing the 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 Division Two had to have come out. It was announced in 2017, 2018, I think. And like ha- when did the Division Two come out? 2019. 
Okay, so uh, this must have been in pre-production while they were finishing yeah. up the Division 2 or something. It's, and this is Ubisoft's second Avatar game, which is hilarious because they did the license game. Oh, that one, the first one was bad. That one, <laughs> from what I remember, like oh it wasn't God. great, but it wasn't terrible. Played with both sides. I, it was, I, it was a good game, six out of ten. That one, thank you, CJ. That one was the one where you, where you played as both. But you both you played both sides. A theme that Ubisoft continues to. Oh, uh, dude, I love both sides. Oh, damn it, I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for everyone to stop talking so I could just say it. Beat you to it, play. <laughs> uh, it's all right. But also, uh, the one thing that I'm curious about is: did they have? Did development take so long because they were waiting to know what Cameron had done with the movie? Yeah, they had or to. Or were the they scripts. just given free reign? No, so what I imagine is because James Cameron's done with like Avatar's four, like Avatar four scripts, so they probably read that shit already. Like they know what's going to happen. It, it, Why is, did he write it but not film any of them? I still don't get he's that. He's been underwater. <laughs> is it an unpopular Raising opinion to to think that Avatar is um, the plot of that is like super bare bones and it's all like oh, when absolutely. people when people are like frothing over in the mouth about it, it was literally just like, wow, this looks amazing. But like, there's no substance behind it. The point was, it was people were self-diagnosing yeah, the themselves with parent Pandora depression the syndrome and people, being suicidal. People, people were watching like fucking like six times movies. And I'm like, damn, dude, okay. The plot's bad. The tech that it the the tech that it what's the word like the the way that they use the tech in film pretty much changed special effects to me. It's I mean, obviously, really dumb example, but if you saw Warcraft, the reason why the orcs in Warcraft were done so damn well was that was literally up upgraded Avatar tech. Oh, you watched like, I, uh, Jungle Book, like it looked like that. I, that was like the upgraded Avatar tech, also. Yeah, like, it's every, literally every, Avatar changed yeah. the game when it comes to special effects because they could literally have what the person was supposed to be playing on a separate screen while they had the actor doing. It. I mean, I, I guess, I guess it's true about what they say. It's true about what they say. Jar Jar walked so that Avatar could sprint. Yes, quite, too too quite racially literally. too racial racially motivated like characters. Mm -hmm. That that like DNA carried over as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> but but hey, we gotta really we gotta curious. move on. Hey, what's yeah. it? I was gonna say we gotta we, got, we gotta go. We got I'm like curious to know minutes. if they use that tech in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they did to make the to make the navi in the game act like like you you could tell that that like an actor's playing them and then an, and then an, and an animator did like hand animate the movements i'm just i'm just curious if they did that for the game if, i wouldn't be surprised if they did if a navi doesn't t-pose in the movie and have purple textures i'm, I'm not watching it 